let us solve one more problem. Evaluate limit extends to 0 secant x minus 1 by x square. So, let us think is there any formula for secant x minus 1 in terms of sin x or cos x. So, I think there may not be any formula. So, that is why here we need to change the secant x in terms of cos x. The secant x and cos x are reciprocals each other. The secant x can be written as 1 by cos x. So, that of after prior simplification we will get 1 minus cos x. The 1 minus cos x is replaced by the one of the sub multiple formulae that is 2 sin square of x by 2. So, that the problem can be solved the, as we have discussed earlier in the previous problem. Okay. Let us proceed for the solution now. Limit extends to 0 secant x minus 1 divided by x square. First, let us replace secant x by 1 by cos x. So, this equals to limit extends to 0. So, 1 by cos x minus 1 by x square. Okay. So, first we need to simplify the numerator here. So, in order to simplify the numerator, so it is obviously we take the cos x as a LCM now. So, this equals to limit x tends to 0. Now, cos x as a LCM. So, it can be simplified now 1 minus cos x divided by x square. Now, this can be written like this for our convenience limit x tends to 0 1 minus cos x by cos x and divided by x square can be written x square by 1. Now, can we write like this? This equals to limit x tends to 0 1 minus cos x by x square Okay, multiplied by reciprocal of x square by 1. So, what is the reciprocal of x square by 1? Yes, you are correct that is 1 by x square. So, that means let it be multiplied by 1 by x square, 1 by x square. So, this is actually not x square, we get cos x, okay. 1 minus cos x by cos x multiplied by reciprocal of x square by 1 is 1 by x square. So, now we can interchange these two terms. It makes no difference. So, now this can be rewritten as limit x tends to 0, the 1 minus cos x by x square into 1 by cos x. So, now here this is nothing but product of the two functions. The form first function is 1 minus cos x by x square, whereas the second function is 1 by cos x. So, that limit can be applied to the both of the functions simultaneously. So, now this can be rewritten limit x tends to 0, 1 minus cos x by x square into limit x tends to 0. 1 by cos x. Am I correct? So, now here once again we need to recall the formula for 1 minus cos x. Yes, from trigonometry this 1 minus cos x is nothing but 2 sin square of x by 2. Am I correct? This is very very important formula. So, now this can be written limit x tends to 0. 1 minus cos x is being replaced by 2 sin square of x by 2, 2 sin square of x by 2 by x square. Okay. And multiplied by 1 by as limit approaches x approaches to 0, the what will be the value of cos x? 
of obviously one itself only. So that means as x approaches to 0, the cos x is 1. So 1 by 1. Now 2 being a constant, let us take it common now. So we get 2 is taken common out. Limit x tends to 0. Sin square of x by 2 by x square. 1 by 1 is 1 only. You just multiplied by 1, same thing you will get it. So, here multiply and divide by 1 by 4. So, now we can write 2 times limit x approaches to 0, the sin square x by 2 by x square multiplied with 1 by 4 and divided by 1 by 4. So, now this 2 multiplied by 1 by 4 that is 1 by 2 am I correct. So, limit x tends to 0 this can be rewritten as sin square x by 2 by x square into 1 by 4 x square by 4. Now, further the sin square of x by 2 by x square by 4 can be written as a perfect square sin of x by 2 by x by 2 whole square. Am I correct now? So, half times limit x tends to 0 sin of x by 2 by x by 2 whole square. So, now as x approaches to 0 even x by 2 is also approaches to 0. So, this can be written half times limit x by 2 tends to 0 sin of x by 2 by x by 2 whole square ok how does it how does it appear ok it appears to be limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta so that is nothing but 1 so this can be replaced by 1 using the formula what is the formula we have limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta which equals to 1. That means, suppose if x by 2 is theta limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta same you get 1. So, this is replaced by 1. So, 1 by 2 times 1 square. 1 square is 1, 1 by 2 into 1, 1 by 2. Hence, the limit is 1 by 2. Let us solve one more problem. So, first let me read the question. Evaluate limit x tends to 0 1 minus cos 2 mx by sin square nx. Here the first we need to simplify the 1 minus cos 2 theta value that means it appears to be 1 minus cos 2 theta that is actually 2 sin square theta we can write. So, that means 1 minus cos 2 mx is replaced by sin square mx sin square mx by sin square nx. So, that uh, easily we can uh, solve this problem using the important identity the limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta equals to 1 that means sorry that is the important formula has to be applied that is limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta equals to 1. So, let us solve this problem now. Limit x tends to 0 the 1 minus cos 2 mx by sin square nx. As we have the formula the 1 minus cos 2 theta equals to 2 sin square theta. Okay, now if you replace theta for this mx what do we get it? 2 sin square mx. So, the 1 minus cos 2 mx can be written as limit x approaches to 0. This is 2 sin square mx divided by sin square nx. 
Since 2 is being constant, can we take out common? Yes, why not? Let us take it common. So, this can be written limit 2 times limit x tends to 0. So, this we can write sin square mx and multiplied by 1 by sin square nx for our convenience. First multiply the first function with uh, mx whole square and divide by mx whole square. In the similar manner for second function also multiply with uh, nx whole square and divide by nx whole square. So, let us simultaneously let us perform this operation now. So, let the operation be performed now. 2 into limit x tends to 0. This we can write now sin square mx by 1 multiplied by m square x square by m square x square multiplied by 1 by sin square nx multiplied by n square x square by n square x square. So, it does not make any difference. So, now this can be written see the limit can be applied to this function as well as this function simultaneously. So, 2 times limit x tends to 0 these two we can write sin mx by mx whole square can I write like this ok multiplied by so, these two we can write now n square x square by sin square nx can be written like this limit x tends to 0 nx by sin nx whole square multiplied by limit x tends to 0. Here we have m square by x square. So, these two terms were left m square x square is numerator this will be the denominator m square x square by n square x square it is very interesting x square x square gets cancelled we have the constant itself only that is so now here so as to apply the limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta equals to 1 we need to change the limit here here also in accordance with to apply the formula so now 2 times limit as x approaches to 0 mx is also approaches to 0. So, m into x m into 0 0. So, mx approaches to 0 sin mx by mx whole square multiplied by limit this can be written 1 by limit nx tends to 0 sin nx by nx whole square just check it does not make any difference here constant no problem we can write directly m square by n square so now if you just assume mx is theta limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta so both are both are actually compared to the limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta whose value is equal to 1. So, that means this is replaced by 1, this is also replaced by 1. So, now here we have since limit theta approaches to 0 sin theta by theta equals to 1. So, keeping in view of this formula, this can be written 1, this can be written 1, 2 times 1 square multiplied by 1 by 1 square multiplied by m square by n square. So, 1 square is 1, 1 by 1 is also 1, 1 square 1, 1 into 1, 1, 2 times here we can write 2 times 1 into 1 into m square by n square. So, this equals to 2 m square by n square. So, which is the required limit of a function?